I made a massive mistake this morning, like a really big mistake. I decided not to get up and shoot sunrise, but that wasn't the big mistake. The big mistake was looking out the window here at 6.30 in the morning, because I looked out this window, as I shouldn't have done, and the light was smacking, smacking that mountain beautifully. And on top of it, there was just this perfect color hitting the clouds above it. Terrible decision. If you're gonna skip a sunrise shoot, don't compound the problem by looking out the window and checking out the light. So I've actually rented a motorcycle for the day and I'm gonna go waterfall chasing and maybe seascape chasing this afternoon. But right now I'm just gonna grab some lunch here on the beach before heading out to explore. Not a bad spot at all for a little bit of lunch. Got my motorcycle. It's time to go find some stuff to take pictures of. This way. Hello. Oh, the waterfall's this way. A guy just wheeled in here and told me that there's no water at the waterfalls. It's dry season in this area, even if it's raining right now. So I'm gonna push up to a beach. I think it's called uh, Nakpan Beach. Nakpan Beach. Did I pronounce something correctly? Probably not. Um, we're gonna go up to Nakpan Beach and uh, and see if it's a photogenic spot. I might not photograph it, but I want to check it out because it looks cool. I'm talking too much. Let's just go to the beach. I made it to Nakpan Beach and it's quite beautiful here. Actually really beautiful here. Like almost every beach I've been to anywhere in the world though, it looks like it's gonna be hard to photograph. One of the rules in photography in general is to change perspective, either get low to the ground or get up. So I see like this hill over there and it looks like there might be a trail on it. So I'm gonna see if I can climb up that hill and get a cool perspective. There's a sign here saying I can't go farther because there's like a court battle or something going on regarding the ownership of the beach right there which is called Twin Beach. So I can't climb the hill. Instead, I'm gonna use the drone.
Thank you. Bye. It's a shame I can't get up there because it looks like it would be a cool spot to shoot from. Aside from that, there's some rocks down here that might make for a cool photo, but in reality, nothing mind blowing. So I think I'm just gonna shoot a time lapse sequence right now for the vlog and then move on and location scout somewhere else. I lied, I'm not leaving yet because I saw this down the beach. It's like some broken pier and there's people climbing all over it so it might not work, but it might make for a cool long exposure photo. So for photographers, right now I'm gonna do a long exposure shot. It's middle of the day and the only way to do that is using an ND filter. So I've got a 10 stop ND filter from Lee. I'll link it in uh, the description below. And I'm gonna put that on the front of the lens along with a grad ND filter to even out the light and hopefully this comes out pretty cool. I think it might make for a cool photo even middle of the day here. So um, let's try to get some shots and then we'll move on. So this is the photo with hashtag no filter. Same exact composition with the grad ND filter. And finally now with the grad ND filter and the 10 stop filter. Let's get some photos. I've come back to my hotel because the problem I was having with my Canon 60 that I thought I might have found a sort of solution for is, is not happening. It's not working at all. So I came back to pick up my Sony camera and I have an adapter that I can use my Canon lenses on my Sony body. So I don't know what's happening with the weather though. It looks nasty outside. So I'm gonna hang out here and see what happens with the weather and then hopefully cruise down to another beach and shoot somewhere at sunset. Weather dependent. It just finished raining pretty hard and it's my experience in photography that you always seem to get the best light right after like a massive thunder shower. So I've come down to a place called Karong Karong Beach and luckily the sun has popped out and I think the light's gonna be amazing. It's a pretty cool location. You've got all these fishing boats rather than the other side, you got like tourist boats and hopefully I can get some compositions and shots even with the broken gear. Kids love the drone. Can't really blame them, the drone's pretty awesome. I got a little bit caught up in the drone flying because it was fun hanging out with the kids and I lost the light on the mountain in the background. I'm kind of kicking myself right now, but uh, we'll get some shots anyway, light or no light. so negative but it always seems to happen when the light is absolutely epic like it was you don't have functioning gear or you forgot something at home or something goes wrong but you know what this is still such a cool location to be shooting Oh, 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 oh,
So I'm back and I think what I'm about to say is important. Maybe not from a general perspective, but definitely in understanding me and my lifestyle. You guys might have been watching the previous clips and been like, how did he miss the light by playing around, messing around with some kids? And at the end of the day, the travel experience, those moments, making some kids laugh will always take precedence from me. That's why I do it. I love making images. I love creating the art of images and I love my job, but I do this job, I do this work because I love those interactions. I love those moments out in the field with kids randomly, or not necessarily kids, but just people in general. I love those moments. That's why I do this. I do the photography, yes, because I love it, but because it's a means to travel, it's a means to see the world, and it's a means to have this lifestyle. As soon as I stop wanting to have those moments, as soon as I tell those kids to bugger off because I'm trying to work, it stops being a lifestyle and it starts being a job. And I hope it always remains a lifestyle. I hope I always love it. And I hope I never start seeing it only as a job. So at the end of the day today, I might've missed the absolute best light, but I still got photos. And I had that moment with those kids making them laugh, you know, just enjoying life. And that will always be more important than getting the shot. Anyways, guys, I'm calling that an episode. It's hot tonight and humid and I'm sweating, obviously. And I'm about to go get some food and tomorrow I'm boat cruising again. So I'll see you guys on that episode. Peace.